I always keep my promises, Yigit. Bring the girl here. Killing a prosecutor is only going to bring more trouble for everyone, all right? In this world, a man can't even trust his own flesh and blood, am I right? I mean, just look at what your brother has done to us. Go on, take the girl and leave, Yigit. Tassin, Mr. Prosecutor will be staying with us. You asked for me to make a choice between you and my family. Yeah, and you've already made your choice. Come on, bring the girl here. Everybody drop your guns! Five years earlier. Congrats, Brother Basri. You get to see your grandchild's wedding. No one could be more deserving. Thanks very much. Hey, I wish the same for my Emir and Yigit as well. God willing, Father. Send her an invitation. Shame on us if we didn't. She's not feeling well, Father. With all the wedding fuss, she's very tired. Yeah, and what has she been doing, huh? She's just doing this to spite me. Hmm. What is it that the bride say? I'll both cry and leave my home. Have we even once seen her smile since she arrived at this house? Go on, bring her here immediately. We can't have a wedding without your wife here. What an embarrassment that would be. I already told her that, Father, but she's Enough. just... They can't say that the famous Basri can't make his wife obey him. Zalia better be down here in five minutes. No, please don't bother wasting your breath. I'm not going. I already told you. Zalia, come on, honey. We will look bad in front of everyone. Father asked for you to come. Please don't do anything to offend him. He asked for me? Yes. So your father asked for me, huh? Your father only knows how to order people around. I go out to the town, once in a blue moon to buy a dress, and he doesn't hold back when he insults me. Oh, the dear lady will make us all go bankrupt. He says loudly, that's enough, enough, I can't breathe around here. Zalia, after all this time, you're gonna start complaining? It's the wedding day. Come on, 
Please come with me. Just do it for me, would you, please? For 25 years, I've been here rotting my life away for you. I've been putting up with everything that your father has ever said to me. No, oh, that's enough. That's it. Enough is enough. What can we do, dear Zaliha? He's my father, and we just have to put up with it. He's an old man now. We shouldn't have to put up with him at all. I came here with you from Istanbul, and you told me that. That we were going to pay our respects and stay maybe a month or so. And look how many years have gone by. Look, now the grandkids are getting married. Ugh. And what do you think will happen next? He's going to find girls for our boys to marry and then make them stay right here forever. No, I didn't find my sons on the street, you understand me? I'm not going to bury my son's futures here, okay? Grandpa. Oh. Drink this pill, let anyone see, don't get me in trouble. Huh? Ah, <laughs> I'm in charge of this wedding. It would be a shame if I didn't drink. Well, but the doctors have a different opinion, Grandpa. If they were to find out that I brought you Rocky, they'd kill me. Come on. <laughs> but enjoy it, okay? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I promise you, if you come to the wedding, I'll talk to my father about everything. You don't need to have a talk with him. You only need to say this is my final decision, and that's that. You promise? I give you my word. When will you do it? As soon as the wedding is over. And that'll allow me to become a professor, hopefully. What are you doing, Grandpa? Basri's grandson will become a professor. My lion of a grandson. My boy, you've always had a special place in my heart. But look at your brother. He barely finished high school due to his vagabond ways, I swear. Where is he? Look, he's gone and disappeared again. He must have found something to keep him busy. <laughs> Yigit, when are you going to come and ask for me? I always ask for you, girl. Look, I asked for you and now I'm here.